So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0161 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0161 code? Well, it's a front secondary heated oxygen sensor, secondary HO2S bank 2 sensor to heater circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses oxygen sensors on the exhaust to know how much oxygen has been burnt off during combustion. And in modern cars, they also contain heat sensors that monitor the catalytic converter. So that's when the catalytic converter starts to fail, it gets hotter. And the onboard computer is seeing an issue with this. And bank two is always the opposite side of the engine from the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder or the number one spark plug, then you go to the opposite side, that's bank two. And on the exhaust, sensor two will be the second sensor on the exhaust as, as you go down. And some of the possible causes for this is it could be a bad oxygen sensor, it could be in the wiring, and it possibly could be something like an exhaust leak or something like that. But usually if you have an engine problem or something else going on, usually you get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, you might want to check those out. And so there's usually two oxygen sensors, but there can't be four, or sometimes there can even be more than that. It just varies. It depends on the Honda. And what's going on with these is that on the exhaust, you're going to have one before the catalytic converter called sensor one, or called the upstream. And then you're going to have a second sensor called the downstream that is after the catalytic converter. And the one the onboard computer seeing issue with is going to be the second one. And what this code is pointing to is that there's four. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find that sensor. And so here's a 2012 Honda Odyssey. As you can see, it says bank two sensor two. So this would be the one that's had, that the onboard computer is seeing an issue with. It'd be this sensor in the front, second one down. This engine has two pre-cats on each side of the engine and on each side of the catalytic converters is a sensor. And so the first thing to do is you have to go look and find bank two, which is always opposite of the number one cylinder and then follow it down till you find that second O2 sensor. Or you could Google it, go to Google images and try to find a, an image of your particular year and engine since there can be differences between them. And so that you know exactly where it's at and you, and you can go right to it. But the one you want to find is the bank two sensor two oxygen sensor. And so once you find it, the next thing to do is to go and check out the wiring. You want to be sure this wiring is all good. You want to be sure it's plugged in good, that the, it's got a good connection. There's no open shorts or anything like this because any bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you want to make sure that all looks good. And one thing to keep in mind is that this also is on a fuse. Quite commonly, it's on a relay. Using inside the engine compartment, there'll be a fuse box. There'll be a fuse box inside there and, it, and it'll be labeled like A of heater. And so on this particular one it's labeled a of heater right here for the fuse and a of heater right here for a relay now again there could be differences but it should be a fuse and sometimes a relay there's not always a relay but there can be and so if that all looks good then very likely it is going to be time to replace that oxygen sensor and you can test it if you wanted to to be sure but most people would just go and replace it at this point. They usually range around 50 to 100 bucks. But at that point, replacing that Bank 2 Sensor 2 oxygen sensor is very likely it's going to be the problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P0161 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.